The zoo in Forest Park is back open and ready for business. Multiple state guidelines have been put in place to make sure that guests, staff, and the animals remain safe. Western Mass News reporter Alyssa McCann has the details about what you can do and can't do at the zoo. The zoo in Forest Park has officially opened its doors to customers. But with phase two of reopening underway in Massachusetts, there are specific guidelines in place. Face masks when you come in, absolutely, it keeps everyone safe. Um, and we have a lot of um, hand sanitizing stations located inside the zoo, so there's plenty of opportunities for people to keep their hands clean. And we have marks on the ground that really help people social distance. Originally, the zoo was allowed to open in phase one of Governor Charlie Baker's reopening plan. But the Springfield Parks Commission halted the reopening of the zoo. The Parks Commission had voted back on the 20th of May to delay our opening until they could hire bathroom attendants for the park. So once they got those bathroom attendants in place, we were raring to go. And Sarah Titso, the executive director of the zoo in Forest Park, tells Western Mass News there are new and different guidelines you need to abide by before you even arrive. So one of the biggest changes people will notice this season is that you have to make a reservation for for a specific time spot on a brand new web platform we, we installed on our website. On the website, you'll be able to make and pay for your reservation, which allows guests and staff to limit interaction. You have your name on a list, you give your name, show your ID, and you're in the gate. To keep up with social distancing guidelines, the zoo will be allowing small groups in every 10 minutes. But tickets cannot be purchased at the gate. You must plan ahead. So that means there's not a backup at the ticket booth. It means there's not a backup at our exhibits. In addition to these new guidelines, Titso says for right now, guests are not allowed to feed or pet the animals. And you'll notice at Leopard Lane there are these extra barriers to make sure everyone remains at a safe distance. There's a question around whether or not felines can have the potential to, to contract the virus. So just to play it safe, the USDA has recommended that everyone do this and we of course comply. If you would like to make a reservation online to visit the zoo in Forest Park, head to westernmassnews.com for more information. For Western Mass News, I'm Alyssa McCann.